first i would like to tell you thanks to give me this wonderful opportunity to inter- to introduce myself in, fr- in front of you well my name is alit kumar and i am from uttar pradesh uh, i originally come from bulandsar that is in uttar pradesh this is a district and i work in noida and it's been 7 years to me i have been working in noida in private organization yeah now i would like to know something about you in a nutshell yeah definitely so my name is sanuja and i am from bhopal city if i'll talk about my qualification so i have done engineering in it stream sure. and currently i am a working professional in one of the software company and simultaneously i am running my youtube yeah that's all about me okay you are working as a software engineer yeah okay and when did you complete your graduation in 2015 in 2015 19 okay okay i did my graduation in 2017 and i also work in it sector but i am in a medical process of it sector okay yeah, yeah my next you know, question are... was about to ask this like in which field you are working yeah <laughs> yeah because when i got to know when you told me that uh, that you are from it so that time i connected that uh, connected with that thing that you are from it so i also work in it and i work in medical process okay that's great yeah. yes so how so now i would like to know some yeah how how's my experience about the job hmm? yeah, it's very bad i would say <laughs> <laughs> you know if if the if the if the person is working in it and uh, in an it and in such any domestic organization so i would say the people are making money but they are not satisfied i am th- i am definitely not satisfied with my like uh, i am making money i know this thing in it sector people are making huge money but the thing is that you are not getting satisfaction somewhere hmm. you know uh, i was not great at communication early and so i had to learn this language as well so that was the also big deal for me i am from hindi background so how can i speak in english that is the obvious thing right hmm. so that was the challenge for me first when uh, when i joined it so i didn't get promotion so that was the also blunder for me so these are the all things that i have to handle in such things in it if i am working other otherwise earlier i was working in domestic organization that was a hospital mm-hmm. so i used to work there as a pharmacist so that was a great thing like i was getting less salary as compared to now but i was very you know uh, relaxed that time so yes. how do you find private jobs like it jobs yeah i think my story is quite same uh, similar to you as well because my communication was also not good because i have done my schooling and college in hindi medium and after that okay. when i uh, when i appeared for interview then only i realized that uh, i have to crack interviews <laughs> in english language and it was really hard okay. for me uh, that time yeah. uh, because i never tried to speak in english language and suddenly i yeah, was speaking in uh, interview so yeah i got rejected in so many interviews i still remember yeah. that that time i got frustrated also <laughs> like uh, <laughs> i would how how i would get job so yeah but uh, yeah, back in the mind it was like i was thinking that uh, anyhow i have to get job because i have completed yeah. my graduation and if i will not get job so it would would be very embarrassing so so you yeah. don't believe uh, you you even can't guess that how many interviews i have attended so far <laughs> same here <laughs> i have all, yeah. i have also attended so many yeah i would say uh, i have attended 50 plus interviews so far and initially i was not able to introduce myself mm-hmm. uh, during the interviews but now like i'm getting little bit confidence to introduce myself i'm able to little bit make the conversation healthier but earlier i was not like that yes i can totally relate yeah yeah you so so something i would like to know about your english journey when did you start how did you improve okay so uh, as i mentioned that in interviews only uh, first time i appeared in interviews and that time i had to speak in english but yeah that time okay. we had some other things to learn like technical things also so i i never uh, thought like i should focus on communication skills but yeah okay, it's okay. a mandatory part of interviews especially if you are working in uh, mnc company so yeah fortunately yes, i got placed in mnc company but here you know that we have to connect with global clients customer yes. so communication is uh, is very necessary so yes. yeah, and we have to we have, and we have to be great at accent as well it, like it is not enough that you are able to speak in english this is not enough you have to be in accent as well 
yes yes and we actually we have to understand them properly then only we can communicate uh, it's no matter that we are just speaking in a, like uk or us accent or not but yes. at least we are understanding them properly and they are able to understand you properly so that is completely okay so yeah, yeah so, but uh, when i so joined, let me let me let me tell you one thing so <laughs> when i started my job for the first time in it so that time the trading was provided from the client side Okay. So uh, that time the situation was with, was with me like that that I was not able to understand English even like like even a single sentence. So when the training was provided from the side of client, so same 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 was happening with that as well. I was not able to understand the training as well. So <laughs> fortunately, I meet some friend in this organization, and uh, by by the help of them, I learned how to work in the process right and. Uh, they taught me in hindi and i elaborated i defined defined that thing in english in hindi again and uh, and uh, I, i was like i get into the i got into the habit of uh, handling such processes what's the shift for job shift yeah yeah english yeah, do you work yeah it's general shift for now Okay, general shift. Okay, but you know, in my company, I have to work in US shift only. Okay, that would be very difficult. Okay. Yeah, in my yeah, it is very but, difficult. Uh, I worked in night shift as well, but in this project, I okay. have to work general shift. It is it is good to work in day. Either you are working, you are extending more two hours for your work, and it is always good to work in the in day shift only, right? Yes. Because yes. in night shift, you get tired a lot. and uh, or the the thing is that you are not able to recover that sleep that you are having in the night you are not able to recover that sleep for a whole week as you like you work for whole week yes right? yes i can understand because you know uh, like uh, in day uh, like if you are sleeping to 7 to 8 hours also so you will not feel that uh, you, you you slept uh, enough so you will not yeah. feel but uh, so yeah day shift is good whenever you have to work more so that is completely okay uh, actually i have to also work after my work shift as well uh, because my manager and team is from usa so they comes after okay. uh, after my uh, log out so i need to yes, yes. be there sometime uh, for them whenever i have to ask something so yeah so are you working from office or working from home i am working from home okay it's great so i'm i'm also working from home now but my but my manager is insisting me to come to office okay. but uh, i'm just telling them that i mm-hmm. i'm just you know i just uh, not blink to go to office now and i'll plan go to office little later but uh, what about you do you would like what would you like to do in that uh, situation you want to work from office or you want to do work from home only okay so now i am habitual of work from home so yeah i would prefer but you know uh, if they will call me and it is necessary to go so uh, we can't do anything yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah so are you a youtuber are you a creator yes yes okay okay so you always uh, record such kind of videos and upload over, over youtube channel mm. okay okay great 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 because it is my just like third third call with you Okay. uh so yeah on this application on skype so before that i was using some other application to have the conversation i was just having audio call before that but this is a good application i would say like i'm having such a such kind of youtuber like your kind of youtuber and great like great speakers as well so the first call i connected with that and he was using he was trying to use some ac- different accent some us accent or some other accent so i was telling him that i should also I speak in such uh, such aff- uh, such uh, accent but uh, literally if i uh, if i am having my conversation with an indian a speaker so there is no sense to use a uh, different accent i can use but don't know that how can i use you know sometimes it comes mm-hmm. by your tongue but sometimes you are putting your effort but it is not coming it happens <laughs> yes yes even i have uh, tried sometimes uh, to speak in some different accent but i really don't like to be honest because uh, mm. if if you are able to make other people understand uh, like your indian accent also that is okay so i feel the, i feel like this but so in, yeah it's a great 
interest in learning this accent so you can yeah sometimes i uh, sometimes i think that that if i try to speak in us accent so i would flamboyant myself that i'm just trying to mm-hmm. just ju- i'm just trying to procrastinating procrastinating my language so it is like it is like that i think like that that i would i would uh, seem like that that i'm just procrastinating with my language but it is not like that I, uh, like that i literally want to learn this language mm-hmm. and do you have any suggestion how can i be very effective in this language okay so yeah i would suggest only that we we have to be practice every day uh, like if i'll talk about me so i'm practicing it uh, for very long time like it's about to complete two years i can say uh, and it like, seems so when you are communicating it seems so that you have been practicing for long time and mm-hmm. you have great command over the grammar i'm not uh, you know i'm not giving extra time for learning this language but uh, now i have made this habit like uh, every day i have to speak every day i have to speak anyhow uh, so okay. this is in my habit now so that's why i would say but other than that i'm not learning something new yeah sometimes i'm learning but not giving extra time or extra effort for learning this language okay same is with me because i'm also not doing any extra work for my language mm-hmm. whenever i get time i try to connect with the people like if somebody is available right and uh, apart from that i some i like so fun i uh, i work on my grammar right i know that i there is always a room for improvement but literally i do not have time to spend a lot on that thing right yes. because uh, I, i have been doing many things at the same time uh, uh, apart from the job so mm-hmm. that is why I, my 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 schedule is completely hectic uh, nowadays Yes, I can so, understand. Yeah. Even I don't get so, time because of all these things. Like sometimes job and YouTube also. It takes time. You can understand. Yeah. yeah. But so, do you live with your family here? There. Yes, I live with my family. And what is your place? I forgot that place. It's Bhopal. It's Bhopal. Okay, okay. okay. No, I didn't get the chance to visit there. But I literally like like to visit places. Mm-hmm. uh like if i am getting the chance to visit bhopal so so i'll definitely visit there you know i like traveling so mm-hmm. uh, i usually make a plan to go somewhere uh, recently couple of days ago i went to vrindavan i think you must have heard about that mm-hmm. vrindavan yeah. yeah so i i couple of days ago i went to vrindavan and i like to place uh, i like to visit places right so mm-hmm. what are your hobbies you didn't tell me i think your hobbies about <laughs> Yeah, my hobbies. I love to do drawing and traveling also, and yeah, sometimes dancing. Okay. Sometimes dancing. Yeah, I also used to like dance, but nowadays, <laughs> nowadays I have forgotten everything because because mm-hmm. I just keep busy myself in work, in study, and and learning something, right? In doing some work. Apart from that, I'm not doing anything, literally. Mm-hmm. And now recently, lack of time, we are not able to do all such things uh, and focus on only our hobbies. Also, yeah, and so what do you do for your mental health? My mental health. <laughs> yeah, because you know, if you are just keeping yourself busy, so do you keep busy yourself always in the work or in YouTube or in something like that? No, no, not really. I I always manage my time in uh, some other activities too. Sometimes I watch uh, like uh, some entertaining videos also. Sometimes reels. Okay, okay. So I just do okay. the other things also. Uh, like not only that I'm okay. just focusing on my job or uh, YouTube. So YouTube I have uh, taken as a secondary part. So I'm not so you know bothering about much uh, whether I'm uh, yes. you know doing great there or not. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay. I've made this kind of schedule. Like, yeah, I have to make videos uh, just for enhancing my communication. And also that uh, with the with this this kind of videos, I'm uh, doing on YouTube also. So that is uh, kind of beneficial for me. So that's why. Yeah, you would definitely definitely do some great thing in in your YouTube career as well. You already have started, and you your way of speaking is also very great. right so you would do great in that thing as well so now i would like to know that uh, how many places you have visited so far in your whole life i am not asking the exact count you can you know just say me the uh, number any number uh, i would say that i have visited six to seven states i guess okay 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 
लाइक महाराष्ट्र राजस्थान बिहार एम पी यूपी डेली एंड माई वर्क लोकेशन इज इज इन नोएडा वेन आई वॉज वर्किंग इन डिफरेंट कंपनी since when i started my career so that time i used to go to office okay okay so, so i your work is in currently is noida hmm but you are working from home okay yeah. same is with me <laughs> you can <laughs> same is with, with me and i am doing same thing right so i my work location is also noida but i but not as not very far from my my area my area <laughs> just my home is just Uh, six to seventy kilometer far from me. Oh, okay. right. So hmm. whenever I think, whenever I feel like that, I should go go to office. So and if my manager is insisting me to come to office, so then I go there. Uh, it is okay for you, but if uh, if my manager will yeah. would call me, so I need to be shift <laughs> there. Uh, shift there. Yeah, yeah, it would be very hectic to you because you'll have to travel from Bhopal to here, and you'll have to arrange some room and everything. Mm-hmm. and all yeah. everything here right so it would be very hectic for you i can understand this this thing mm. yes okay so now tell me something more about you so that we can go further in conversation okay okay What so i uh, i wanted to ask one more thing so you have visited uh, seven six or seven states so far so mm-hmm. i would like to know which states did you like most mm. or uh, or i would like to know like what did you notice when you when you visited these states so what did you notice in that what was the unforgettable memory about that i would say that i went to mumbai so that time first it was my first time that i went to beaches a uh, beach kind of places so it was okay. my first experience and memorable also i would say uh, because i liked that place a lot yeah i have visited okay. so many places till now but uh, i still remember that beach so yeah i would say that that is my <laughs> unforgettable yeah, mumbai is, by the name mumbai it, it is also a great thing that you are talking about mumbai because i never been there and uh, mm-hmm. but i would like to definitely go there i try to apply in many companies in mumbai as well but okay. but the thing is that uh, in it companies medical processes are less right moreover it companies are having only it processes mm mm-hmm. yes yes right so mm-hmm. this is the big problem in this it sector as well that i'm um, like working but i'm getting like everything perfectly so the thing is that it is uh, it is hard not to crank to it is hard not to crack to change the job from it uh, from medical process to medical process in it company mm mm-hmm. yes yes if you will have to shift there so you can shift in pune as well Mm-hmm. Uh, in noida actually i visited all, all like most of the places so now if i'll uh, move to another city so it would be uh, like good opportunity for me to explore more about pune and mumbai okay. again so okay. yeah so there is a very famous uh, multi so sorry mall in there greater noida so have you visited there the name of that mall i think grand venice no grand venice I, this is yeah mm-hmm. this was recently opened so mm-hmm. whenever you get the chance to visit noida so you can you should go there right the mall ambiance is very fantastic i would say mm-hmm. uh, and it's been long time for me too i i didn't go there but when i was in noida so i used to go there twice or thrice yeah mm-hmm. but at that time i didn't uh, hear about this uh, name i guess so that's why okay 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 when you will you know google it you will find the things here in the, in the there in the mall because uh, there is a one there is two or three things are famous in there are two or three things are famous in that mall the first one is uh, there is a ice hall ice mall i would say snowfall snowfall mall like that right okay. and one one and second thing you can do some boating in that in mall yeah i know there is a facility you can do some boating as well so wow. these two two things are very famous in that mall mm-hmm. and apart from that there are many more gip mm-hmm. is there and sri plaza is there yeah like these, is there yeah yeah i have visited only two or three malls apart from that i i'm not in the habit of visiting malls <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So when I started my job, I started earning. I started getting some money. So then I got to know the value of money, how to make money, how to spend money. Right? Earlier, uh, earlier I was getting everything from my father's side. So that time I didn't have any value of money. That how should I spend and how should we take care of the money? Yes, yes. And now we value. What about you? What do you think about this situation? <laughs> and I always used to value uh, money. Okay. 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 Yeah. So, what do you think? What should I do to improve my communication more? I what, think in which manner I am lagging behind. I think you are speaking well, even more than me. You know? No, no, no. I don't need to listen to this. Yes, I yes. Don't want to listen no, to I'm this. No, I am not. Uh, you know, exaggerating the thing. But yeah, I still you are uh, speaking so well. But yeah, uh, if you will practice like this every day and try to use some advanced things also, so that would be uh, like more effective. even i am not using it uh, like every time but yeah whenever i think that yes i have to use something new or like this so i try to do, do this so you can but i noticed one thing in your conversation mm-hmm. you are great at grammar i would say okay <laughs> you didn't even uh, make a single mistake in grammar i literally don't know the deep and down literally don't know about deep and down, down grammar but i would say you are speaking well in grammar yeah and there is no need to improvement you are also very, a great speaker i would say and uh, you have been practicing for long and mm-hmm. it seems so that you have been practicing long because you are not fumbling with the words like me <laughs> not really <laughs> yeah sometimes uh, i just want to become more advanced in this language i'm not just i'm not just praising you i'm just t- literally telling you the truth you know mm-hmm. i yeah i'm just literally telling you the truth that you your way of spoken is completely fine but but uh, i am uh, whenever i speak when i speak sometime i fumble with my words so i uh, either i try to speak fast that time i fumble or mm-hmm. i speak very slowly that time i fumble so i am not getting this point where when i fumble but yeah sometime i fumble i know this thing. Yeah, sometimes it happens uh, if we try to speak more fast uh, and something that we already know that we can speak more fast on this thing so we try to speak more fast so yes. that time we skip some of the words or maybe uh, we don't get the actual words also we should not speak too fast and too slow as well But, uh, you know uh, even yeah. i got this uh, feedback from one of the twitter like i am speaking very fast so i was literally thinking that really i am speaking so fast <laughs> so he said to you that you are speaking very fast yeah but it is not like that you are your way of speaking your intonation and i would say your flow of speaking mm-hmm. is perfectly fine i would say because you know whenever someone will listen to you so mm-hmm. he would pay interest to listen to you right the thing is that if other person is paying interest to listen to you it means that you are a good great speaker right hmm yes but yeah uh, we should not speak too fast even i have seen that so many people who speaks very fast and they feel, uh, they think that uh, if they will speak fast so they will look like they are very fluent in this language but uh, other uh, like other person no, is listening not. or they are understanding them properly or not they are not caring about this the concern is that <laughs> the concern is that other that person is not able to understand your sentence so so mm-hmm. other person other person how will how will he be answered the problem yes. is there right okay have a great time thank you have a well of a time enjoy your day yeah same thank you bye bye thank you bye bye